Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's uh, Heart to Home devotional. Today, we're going to be talking about citizenship. And uh, it's been in the news a lot lately, and it has been for some time. But we're not going to be talking about earthly citizenship. We're going to be talking about heavenly citizenship. In Philippians 3, 20 and 21, it says, For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the work, working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Um, it's awesome that once we become Christians, once we accept his free gift of salvation, our citizenship is in heaven. And, but he does give us a work visa, and that's to be about his business here on earth until he comes back for us. Um, in 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 4, for we know that if our earthly house, this tent, our body, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed with our habitation, which is from heaven. If indeed, having been clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we who are in this tent groan, being burdened, not because we want to be unclothed, but further clothed, that mortality may be swallowed up by life. So we are in these earthly bodies. There was, there's a movie, um, Men in Black, and uh, one of the, the lines is, the alien calls uh, humans meat sacks. Um, that's how we are. We're just a bag of bones, um, but our soul belongs in heaven and there we'll go when Christ calls us home or comes back for us and, um, we will have our eternal bodies. Um, but even though we have citizenship in heaven, we're not going to have to worry about where we're going to stay. We're not going to have to look for housing because it says in John, 14, 1 through 3, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. So God has everything under control. Um, we worry about silly things, but um, God knows what we need before we even ask. So with that, let's, uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come before you, Lord. We thank you for your gift of salvation that allows us to be citizens of heaven. Lord, we pray that uh, we can be about your business to use our work visas you've given us to uh, further your kingdom, to share your gospel to those who need it and those who are suffering, and those who want to come closer to you, Lord. May we be the tools and the, uh, and the vessels that you use to do this. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Have a great day.